Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be adjusting the wheel bearings on a trailer. It doesn't matter how many axles it's got, most of these are the same. Let's start with loosening the wheel nuts. You don't have to take the wheels off. But it does give you a better adjustment if you do. Jack it up. Now I have a jockey wheel on this one, so I'll start with winding the jockey wheel up a little bit. Let's start to get the front wheels off the ground. And then just jack it up with the jack. As you can see, this one has brakes. Probably can't see it, but you'll be able to hear that movement. feels all right but I will check it anyway just a flat screwdriver I'm going to get these caps off Work your way around. Scraping away some of that dirt.
मरीज Now that's loose like that because of how the bearings have worn. And that's just finger tight. And already that's stopped that wobble. Now you just want to tighten it so it's firm but you want to be able to move it still. Starting to get a little bit of drag there. I'll back it off a touch. So I've taken that just to the next hole past finger tight. So I went finger tight, then tighten that a little bit so I can get the pin through. I'll flatten the pin down so I can get the cap back on. Normally just use a rubber mallet to knock that back on. But as you can see it goes on rather easy. Now it's the same thing with all the other ones. Clean some of that dirt away. This cap wants to be stubborn. hit these caps too hard because you can crush them they're only pressed tin
Well, that one feels all right, looks all right. So I'll leave that one alone. And put the wheels back on. You want to put the tapered side of the nut into the rim. If you put it the other way around with the flat side into the rim, the wheel wobbles and it'll cause the inside of your rim to chew out and then you'll lose a wheel. So the tapered side goes with the tapered side on the rim and it lines them all up and holds them in place. It also gives more surface contact to stop your wheel nuts from vibrating loose. If they're not completely tight, I'll put the other wheel on first, then let it down, and then tighten all of them at once. Put them down, tighten them properly.
and make sure I didn't miss any. Another wheel. Check them all, make sure I didn't miss any. Now for the other side. Same process as on the other side. You loosen your wheel nuts before you lift it off the ground, makes it much easier. could put your brakes on stop it from whirling away while you're doing this but make sure you don't forget to take your brake off before you start adjusting your wheel bearing Drop your wheel down a bit more. Now check it up. Jockey wheel first if you have one. And take the wheels off. All feels good. Drop any wheel nuts, don't forget to pick them up. Don't want to be losing them. That rattles just the brake pads. Other than that, it feels pretty good. I will check this one. I don't think this one needs checking though. That feels really good, that one. Yeah, that feels good. So I'll just check this one. I'm only going to check this one because of the brake pads. Might be giving a um, giving me a false tightness.
Okay, so I just took that to the next hole. Okay, that feels pretty tight now, so I don't want to go any tighter than that. Put the pin back in. Bend it back over. Looks like it's hit something while driving. Put the wheels back on. In firm, tighten them when they get on the ground. Now for the other wheel. Take it down off the jack. And wind the jockey wheel down. Tighten all the wheel nuts up properly. Make sure I didn't miss any. Now the other wheel. Didn't miss any. And to check your wheel bearings in future, check them on the ground like this by just grabbing the wheel and wobbling it backwards and forwards. Or you can jack it up. If you're still not sure, jack it up and give it a wiggle when it's off the ground. And if you feel any bumping or clunking, well, it could be a loose wheel bearing. If your wheel bearings get too bad, then you have to completely change them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
hope this helps. See you next time.